So I started prepping for today's live show. This is Thursday, by the way. And as I was prepping, I thought, you guys might want to see how I do this prep work. And I thought this might be a really good video for you. So I need to make a bunch of thank you cards. I mean a bunch. I have a lot to send out. So here's what I have done first. First, I picked this paper pack. This one is the Dots and Stripes Spring Collection, the 12 by 12. It doesn't have to be this pack, but here's why I chose it. A pretty good variety of springy colors, and I want to do spring, fall, I mean spring, fall, spring, summer colors for my thank you cards. And then I went through a bunch of partially used paper packs that I have and pulled out stickers that I felt I could make work with this paper pack. Look, that's even Valentine's Day. So I pulled Valentine stickers. It doesn't matter. I want the flowers, right? I pulled, um, what is this one? I think this is like, oh, mom. That's a mom sticker pack. This one is fine and dandy. This one is from Petticoats and Pinstripes. This one is from, hmm, an Easter pack from Photo Play. And this is Happy Easter from Echo Park. I think that's the one that one's from. But I just went through and pulled all these sticker sheets because I want to use the floral pieces, maybe the birdhouse on there. Isn't that adorable? And I think I can make this into a lot of cards and use a lot of these stickers that sometimes just sit on my shelf. And I want to show y'all how that works. So there's my paper pack. Now, the other thing I've done, hang on one second. Obviously this stamp set, right? <laughs> this is the perfect set for me to make a bazillion thank you cards. So there we go. That's the set I'm going to be using. And now let me show you how I'm going to do my sentiments. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this thanks. And this one is about two and a half inches by about an inch. Okay. Then I'm going to measure this guy and he's about three inches by an inch. So what I'm going to do is cut myself some strips that I can use to put the thank yous on. Okay. So I'm going to start with some white cardstock and instead of doing one inch, cause that'll be super tight. I think I'm going to do an inch and an eighth. I don't want to do an inch and a quarter because I just really don't want it to be quite that big on the, on the thank you stamp. Let me show you what this will look like. So I've got my my stamp that I use right here so I can lay this out and show you. See how that'll fit on there just right? That's how I want that to do with a little above and a little below, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut as many strips at one and one eighth as I can here. This is one of those as many as card situations if you think about it because although I'm not using one paper pack to make as many cards as I can from it, I'm gonna make as many cards as I can from some of my scraps and from a pack of pattern paper. So it's the same process with the same thought, but we're just doing a little bit different. Now I gotta decide how wide I want these guys to be after I get them down to the strips. And I'm totally cutting wrong, did you see me? Where am I cutting police? I know you're out there. I did that wrong, so I'll do it right this time. So line this guy up, try to get it nice and straight. Now, this is still a good usable piece, so I'm gonna hold on to that. So now I gotta decide how wide I want these strips to be. And I wanna show you something I do like on the regular, this is a thing. So sometimes I'll lay my strip down and then lay my stamp where I'm gonna want it on that strip. See how that works? And then I just kinda put that where it needs to be um, on my cutting mat to see what I want. Now I wanna be able to put a little bit of a ribbon tail on this end. So this means for me, let me open my arm out here. This means I'm probably gonna wanna cut this about four and a quarter inches, maybe a little bit more. Let's do four and a quarter, here's why. If I do four and a quarter, I can definitely cover the front of my card, you know, it'll be a focal point. And I won't be able to get more than two from this strip, but this might fit my thanks word. Let's check and see and I think it will just fit. Look at that, it just fits. So I'll use that for thanks, and I will keep cutting these strips and see how many I get. Okay, so now that I've got these cut, from one piece of cardstock, I got 14 sentiment strips here, and I got seven little strips here. Isn't that great? Now we're gonna do a little more um, prep work, prep work where cutting is concerned. So let's bring our trimmer back over. And now I need my paper pack that I chose. I know I wanna use this pink color, but I think I'm just gonna pull out one of every color. I'm not gonna to try to do every single sheet from here because to me, and you guys know this, this paper is considered a solid for me. So I can use this in lots of projects and I don't think I'm gonna need 
all of this paper for this project, just some of it. So I want to give myself a variety of colors to work with because I want to make sure when I get to my stickers, I have something that'll work with pretty much everything, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pull out one of each color, just like so. So basically, I'm leaving myself half of this pack to do even more projects with. So we'll put that aside. And now what I want to do is I want to cut this down to as many four by five and a quarter pieces as I can get. So what I'll do is I'll take one piece. I'm going to start by cutting off my little decorator strip. And you know what? I might have a use for these, so I'm not going to get rid of that. There may be a good use for that, so hold on to that. And then I'm going to go four, just like these. Do my cutting right four. I should be able to get six of these. Six of these guys. All right, and then I'm going to cut these down to five and a quarter. Let's tap those back again. Put this here and cut it to five and a quarter. So this is basically the first card mat that I'll need. I'm gonna let this paper do a lot of the work. Do you guys remember me? This is such a good place for me to show you this. Do you remember me telling you that sometimes paper companies give you generous paper and it's not really 12 by 12? This is a perfect example. So you saw me cut these in three, four and a quarter inch pieces, but there's an eighth of an inch extra here. And that is because the paper company was generous with me, right? So sometimes when you're cutting your paper down and you get to put it on the card and you go, I know I cut that to the right size, Sometimes your paper company is generous and you get extra. Now these guys right here, I am not going to get rid of. Much like this one, I can probably use these in my project. So put those aside. All right, so that one sheet got me six pieces. Now I only made 14 sentiment strips for today's video, but since I'm gonna be able to get so many cards out of this particular um, pile of paper, I may go back and do some more. But this is just to show you how to get yourself a bunch of cards going at one time without designing every single card. They'll still be homemade, they'll still be designed by you, but you won't have to cut, you won't have to do every one individually. Let me show you what I was talking about right here, watch this. So I did this this way so you could see. See that, look how generous my paper is. So there's a whole eighth of an inch that they have given us in this paper pack, see it? So if you ever run into that, and I know that you do because you tell me all the time, that you run into that. There you go, that's how you do it. All right, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And then these guys, I'm gonna save for my card projects. So the next step in this assembly line of card making is to get our sentiment stamped. Now you don't have to do this, but anytime I find myself stamping multiple um, stamps all at one time or in one sitting. I use my MISTI or my stamp positioner. I just find that this makes life easy. So what I'm going to do is put my piece of cardstock down into the bottom corner, and I'm not even going to use a magnet for this. And the reason is, once I get this paper in this bottom corner or this cardstock in the bottom corner, I'm really good to go as long as I keep tapping it into the bottom corner. And remember, I wanted this to one side because I want to ribbon tail that end. So now I'm just going to pick this up with my MISTI, just like so and this is ready to stamp. Now there's something else you'll need, and that is your favorite ink. This is my favorite for sentiments, especially bold sentiments, okay? So I'm gonna be using the VersaFine Onyx Black here. It makes life easy for me. Making sure I push this into the corner like I should, I'm gonna ink up my stamp, and I'm gonna send this over and stamp. Now take your time here. Even though you're using a positioner, sometimes you can lift up too soon, and this is a bold image stamp, so take your time. So I've done that. Let's peel that off of there, and that looks great, okay? So I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to stamp all 14 of these with thank you. Remember when I told you I was going to save these guys because I had an idea for them too? Well, this stamp set comes with these companion sentiments that are on strips, right? So why not do that and then find places to use them in your card making? So I'm going to ink up what would I do without you, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp a few of these with those sentiments and trim them out. And when I'm putting my cards together, I'll already have this as well. Isn't that cute? That's a pretty good idea, right? I'm not going to make them all say the same thing. So I'm going to be cleaning these off in between. And I'm just doing it kind of quick with a cloth right here. Sometimes I'll pray, uh, spray squeaky clean on my cloth to do that with. But when I'm using this stamp set so much and it's going to need a good cleaning when I'm done, I just kind of wipe off and go. And because these strips are kind of wide, I'm going to use my longer sentiments. 
So like this one says, from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to ink this one up. And I'm just going to keep stamping these. Now, I won't get a whole bunch of these because I only used, I think, five or six pieces of paper. But that's five or six little companion sentiments that I'll have done before I even start assembling. Cute, huh? Keep going. On this one, I think I can get this one twice. If I can, it's okay. But if I can get it twice, I can add it to two cards. And I can. Look at that. That's really cool, too. So that gives me even extras. Now, remember we stamped our little sentiments on these little strips. I want to show you how we're going to get these cut out of here, okay? The first thing you want to do is cut the sides off. There's a reason. There's a method for my madness. So cut the sides off first right to your printed paper, okay? And then we want to cut the top portion off. Now, this is the reason I did it. Because there's a gap between that little trim piece and our sentiment strip, I wanted to cut those edges off so I could get right in here and do an accurate cut. Now look what I've done. I've laid that where it needs to go. I'm going to take my blade and put it in the middle. And this way, when I sink it and go up and down, my paper doesn't move because I can hold it down with my hand. Did that make sense? I think it did. But that way I can get these little sentiment strips cut for my future card projects, whatever I'm going to do with them. So let's do this one. I want to show you something else, too, that I did. I noticed on this one, I did an overpress, and I want to show you because sometimes you guys tell me you have this problem, too. Do you see how I pressed too hard down here? And I know that is from when I picked it up, I rocked it to the side. I'm going to go with it. People know we're handmade, right? And that's just one of the things that happens in handmade. Don't let that stop you from creating. I'll know better next time. I knew better before, but I still made the mistake. But there you go. All of our little sentiment strips that we can use on our cards. And remember these guys I told you not to get rid of because we can use them. We can use them for the same thing. We can take them and cut them down if we want to. We can glue these together like this, which is would make it super easy, and then just stamp underneath it, which that may be what I do so I don't have to deal with little small pieces of paper. But don't get rid of them because we can use them as well. So let's look at everything we've gathered and assembled for this project. So these are our card mats. These are our card bases and envelopes. These are our sentiment strips, our extra little um, companion strips, and our extra paper. And then these are all of the sticker sheets that I have pulled out from paper. Okay, so now we're ready to start assembling cards. We're going to be using stickers and all of these pieces to start our card fronts. Now, if you just want to, if you go back and watch my Thursday live show, I did a lot of these there. I'm going to do some here for you too in this video, but I thought it would be cool to tell you that I also assembled these on the Thursday live show, which is still available for you to watch if you'd like to. So let's assemble. So here's how I typically like to start. I like to pick out one of these colors to start with, any of them. It doesn't matter which one. I can pick them all up. I think today I'm going to start with blue. This is one I haven't played with yet. I think this will be fun. So I'm going to start with the blue and I'm going to show you what I do. I go to my stickers. And again, these stickers are not, you know, specifically for thank you cards. But I look and see which one leans to this the best. These, this color is really good, but it's kind of in places I really wouldn't use it for a thank you card, so I'm going to keep looking. So the Valentine stuff actually could work with this. Look how cute that is together. And what do we have floral-wise? Because I like to look at the flowers because they work really good. This is actually cute because that's just a bouquet of flowers, which would really work. Let's see what else we have on here. Okay, I'm going to the next one. Oh, this is cute. Look at these. These are adorable. Why don't we do something like this little bluebird? He is perfect, I think. Let's see what he looks like. If we put him something like this, yes. Okay, so we'll start with that one. So here's how I think this works. So for this sticker, I'm going to stick it straight down. I do not need to pop this one up. It's a good size, and it takes up a lot of room on the card. So I'm going to run it off the edge of the page a little bit, and then I'll trim what hangs off and just put that little bird down there. Look how cute that is. And I think for this one, well, let's just look at both. Here we can take our sentiments and decide which strip we want to use on this one. I kind of think this is cute, even if it comes to the side like that. That's really cute, isn't it? And then, remember how we did all these little strips? I probably could use one of these. So very much is cute. That one's the same color. I wouldn't look at that one. From the bottom of my heart, that's cute too. We'll hold that one out. Um, for the thoughtful gift is really cute on there. And then this one says much obliged. Let's see how the yellow looks because I think the yellow matches that yellow pretty good. 
That's cute. I like that. Like that bird is sitting on that birdhouse and he's thinking, what would I do without this birdhouse, right? Okay, let's use this. So I'm going to pop the thanks sentiment up with a little bit of foam. And I don't need too much, just enough to go behind there. Turn this over. Then I'll stick this straight down and then I'll put my little strip down and trim all my edges at the same time. So I like this coming out from the edge, so I'm just gonna line that up on the edge like so. And then take a little glue. And I'm just gonna put it behind this middle section, something like that. If any hangs off, it's all right. I can clean it up or trim it off. And I'm gonna slide that just underneath my thanks and then try to center it. If it's not perfectly centered, it really doesn't matter. It can be off to the side. This is cute, right? I love doing this. This is like my new favorite thing. I love it. All right, let's trim these edges off here. So trim that one off. Trim that one off. And then I need to trim that little guy right there. And that is a card front completely done. Let's put it on a card. Remember, I'm using pre-made bases, so this is super easy, right? I'm not going to pop it up on my card base because I popped up my sentiment. So I'm just going to glue this straight down. Dripped glue on my hand. All right, here we go. Let's lay this guy down. Look how quick and easy that is. Is that not awesome? I love that. Now, I told you that I was doing this in my live show Thursday, but I wanted to show you all the prep work I did. So I'm going to show you the four I completed in my live show, and then I'm going to make the rest of them and film it and just put music to it. So doing the same process I just showed you, I made this one. Isn't that cute? I love all these cards. They are so cute. I did this one. If someone made you some kind of goodie or something, they cooked for you in some way. I thought that was cute. I did this one with the flowers. How adorable, right? And then I made this yellow one in the uh, landscape orientation. I was trying to get that out. And I did the same process I showed you with this one, okay? So now I'm going to film me do the rest of them, but I'm just going to pull a little music on and let you watch how I do it. I think it all makes sense how I'm doing it, but you can see how I make the rest. Look how cute. And I need lots of thank you cards. Trust me, lots of them. So here we go. So there you go, guys. I just got 21 cards from this project. Now, the colors that we used were light pink, 
dark pink, the green, the yellow, blue, and purple. So we use six sheets of cardstock, but here's what I want to tell you, which is going to blow your mind. So these six sheets of cardstock, I made 21 cards using that as full backgrounds, right? I still have 14 pieces left, so I could still make 14 more cards. So I'd only have to do one more sheet of thank yous and I could completely do uh, another 14 cards. Amazing, right? And check this out. I'm going to flip through the cards at the end, but I want to show you this. Look how many stickers I have left. Just look. I used very little from this page. <laughs> look, very little from this page. Hardly any from this one, but I love the ones I did get from that one. I used a good bit from the Valentine set, but still, look how many are left. And how fun to be able to use these little bunnies, because, I mean, a bunny doesn't have to be Easter, right? I still didn't use that little lamb. I was holding on to him and that little bird, which is adorable. And look at all these stickers we have left. That's amazing to me. You could literally just cut some, just make some more of the thank you sentiments and keep going and get easily 14 more out of this. So, let's flip through the cards. And I'll tell you which ones are my favorite, which actually, I think these are absolutely my favorite as many as cards I've ever done. So I'm going to fill the page with them. So there's one. And then look at that snail. Are you kidding me? He's so cute. Here's another. Now think about this. What if you were making this as a gift set for someone? Everybody always needs thank you cards, right? You could totally make this as a gift set to give somebody. I'm going to put that where you can see it there. Um, and this would be an awesome present to receive. Look at these cards. They're so cute. The colors are bright and cheery. Anyone that, if I were to receive any of these cards, they would just make me smile. Are they not precious? I love them. I'm very, very happy with this process. I needed a lot of thank you cards and I was able to get 21. And like I said, I could keep going, but I need to start filling these out and getting them in the mail. But I could keep going and make even more. So there you go, guys. Using stickers that you think you'll never be able to use and one stamp set. That's one stamp set stickers we thought we wouldn't be able to use that were just on my shelf, and then one pack of pattern paper. That's it. Pretty easy, right? So, if you want to know about all the things that I use today, they'll be in the description below. There's always a blog post for you guys to let you know about the products that I use today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Look how pretty the screen is. I love it. This may have to be my thumbnail, y'all, because I think this is so pretty. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you do this, I want to see it. So head to my website at maymaymadeit.com and share with us a photo of what you're making on our customer gallery. And don't forget to subscribe. I would love to hit 300,000 subscribers. So please subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.